So you went to Lane Tech High School. You graduated from Drake University. How did growing up in Chicago shape the man you are today? Uh, well, it really, it, it was not an easy life, uh, but it was one that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. It, it taught me perseverance. Uh, it taught me how to survive, and it taught me how to reinvent myself over and over again. Yeah, so we go back to that job with Ebony Magazine that was back about 35 years ago. Yep. That was just the start for you. Uh, what was it like when you kind of you saw the landscape? Because I feel like you're the type of guy that gets into a place and says, how do I go this way? What was it like when you started with Ebony and uh, getting a feel for this? And did you know where you wanted to go? I did not. Uh, I had the tremendous opportunity of uh, having a relationship with John H. Johnson. Uh, I've been sort of blessed in my career to work for three of the biggest uh, African-American moguls, John H. Johnson, Earl Graves at Black Enterprise Magazine, and Bob Johnson at BET. And each of them sort of taught me some different things. Uh, John H. taught me to be, always be prepared. Uh, and Earl Graves taught me to uh, basically persevere through tough times, and Bob Johnson taught me how to have a vision. Well, you talked about success, and this I, I've heard you use this phrase before, success is a lifestyle. It is. What do you mean by that? It means that once you focus on a goal, your whole life is sort of built around that, everything you do. So I, I kind of use athletes as an example. Perfect. Even when athletes are not on the field, what they eat, uh, the lifestyle that they eat, uh, lead, uh, what they drink or don't drink. It's all about being prepared for that particular game. So success is a lifestyle. So if you talk to some of the greatest of all time, if we think about uh, our own Michael Jordan, and, and he had his, his trainer Tim Grover with him all the time to sort of monitor the things that he would do and wouldn't do. So I think it is a lifestyle. Yeah, well, I, you're speaking directly to the athlete right here, and that resonates. You're now the president of media sales for BET, and your success is incredible there. Thank your you. Your message is painted forward, though. Why is that so important to you? Uh, because so many people did it for me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as I sort of go on this life's journey, I always kind of wonder why they did it. And I'm trying to emulate what people did for me because so many people helped me and I don't even know why today. So I'm trying to do that same thing for people that I don't know, the people that I meet, interns that I have in my foundation, always trying to sort of help them with knowledge and skill sets. Well, in terms of motivating the next generation, Absolutely. Uh, dirty little secrets. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, this one? It's, it's, it's pretty good uh, peek into how you get to where you're at. Uh, absolutely. It's sort of my give back to all of those people who sort of paved a way for me uh, and also to the people who are coming behind me. I think it's important for all of us, uh, no matter what stage of our careers, is to sort of give back and prepare. I think it helps us grow and it helps them grow at the same time. Friday, Saturday, uh, Dirty Little Secrets, Men Only Edition Conference. Absolutely. Can you enlighten me on what's going to be going on there? I feel like a lot of gems are going to get spit. Well, this conference came out of uh, me writing the book, and as I did my book tour, there were a lot of questions from men. Uh, everything about how have you lasted so long for three decades in the same job, and how do you True. stay healthy, how do you travel so much and still continue to be healthy, and how have you been married for 30 years also? So uh, I wanted to sort of bring my friends together who were primarily experts in all of these different fields, whether it's relationship, whether it's wealth building, whether it's health and wellness, and really sort of share these secrets with a lot of people like ourselves. Uh, Lewis, I'm seeing people cry in that video. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty emotional experience, huh? This Absolutely. isn't just your normal sit down, sit back seminar and relax kind of gig. Well, so one of the reasons I made it men only, I wanted to create a safe space for men okay. to sort of be able to be real and to be very, very honest about the things that they don't know and be able to share the things that they do know in a very, very safe environment. Boris Cujo, Dougie Fresh, Al Sharpton, Michael Bivens, Teddy Riley. Yes. These are people that we can see there as well? A absolutely. Uh, those, are not, those are not small names right there. You know, you, you look at Mike Bivens and Terry, uh, Teddy Riley. They're going to talk about how they reinvented themselves over and over again to still be relevant today. The same thing with Dougie Fresh. Uh, you look at Rich Dennis, who is the founder of Shea Moisture. Uh, who's basically at billionaire status right now. Uh, how did he start a company from the ground up, build it, sell it, and still run it today? Well, I got to say, sitting here next to you, I got to ask this before I let you go. Do, do you ever get caught in a bad outfit? I mean, are you always fresh? I try back? not to. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> inspiring on a lot of levels as a young brother in this business trying to trying to get my way and find my way. Very inspiring to see people like Thank you, Mr. You. Carr, doing it out there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully for I can time. see you this weekend. Absolutely, man. We'll definitely talk about that when we're done here. Tickets still available, everybody, to attend Dirty Little Secrets Men Only Edition. It's this Friday and Saturday. You can register. You can get in there, everybody. I'll tell you, it'll be worth your while. It's at dlsmen.com.